Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Dalton Connect has made the National Player of the Year race a discussion. Um, it would have been if he had uh, had an, like an explosive game on uh, on on Saturday when Tennessee won at Alabama, because um, the argument would have been Tennessee is a one seed. This is what they've done as a one seed, and they wouldn't be anywhere near a one seed if Dalton Connect wasn't this unbelievable superpower of a human being playing basketball, right? Um, but they found a way to go out and win that game. Uh, on a night where he really, frankly, struggled. I think he was what, four for 14 from the floor, four for 16 from the floor or something like that. Him and Zakai Ziegler both struggled. And they won that game with their defense. And uh, to me, that takes a little bit of the argument away from him being the player of the year because it is not just Dalton Connect as Tennessee. And you have to be superhuman right now, in my mind, to beat out Zach Eady with everything that Zach Eady has done this year, everything he did last year, as dominant as he's been um, since he got to Purdue, as dominant as Purdue has been since he's evolved into this uh, generational talent. Like, you have to be superhuman if you're Dalton Connect. And I don't think that he has been superhuman enough. He's the second best player in college basketball. For me, uh, all due respect to your guy, RJ Davis, Tyler. For me, Dalton Connect is the clear cut number two guy in the National Player of the Year race but he's still going to be number two. And that's, you know, I think that we kind of get a little bit of, uh, you know, it gets a little stale when someone is as good as Zach Eady has been for so long. It's like the argument with LeBron James. It's like Jokic right now when it comes to MVP, right? He is very clearly the best player in the NBA and very clearly the most valuable player in the NBA. But because we need to have something new to talk about sometimes, uh, we kind of ignore that fact and, and end up voting elsewhere when it comes to that award. But it's Zach Eaton. He's National Player of the Year. Don't Connect hasn't done enough. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, – to, to me, this is a complete overreaction. Zach Eaton is a National Player of the Year. He's the most dominant player in college basketball. He affects the game on both ends. Defensively, I know he doesn't put up the – uh, blocks that you think he would, but he changes and alters shots uh, around the rim. You cannot, uh, you can't deny what he's done. And Dalton Connects had a good year, but he's the third best player in college basketball. R.J. Davis is the second best player. Uh, he can get you a bucket whenever you need it. Uh, Dalton Connect probably wouldn't have his stats if they had more players that could score. Zakai, Zakai Ziegler just came on uh, later in the year, dealing with an ACL last year. Just got his confidence up. But they needed him to score like he did. He had to put up numbers. And I would look at RJ and say he has more weapons. And he's been reliable. He's been one of these guys that uh, I, I would trust him with the ball than more, you know, than any other guard uh, to get us a bucket. So uh, he, he's had a good year, Connect. I would say he's the third best player in college basketball and also a first team All American, but he is not uh, the national player of the year. It's an overreaction. Yeah, I'm with you. Zach Eady had this National Player of the Year award lined up when he decided last May 31st that, that he was going to be coming back to college. That's just how it goes, and he's put up those numbers, and he he's the best player in college basketball. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.